Hi YouTubers, Old Radio Al here with another Philco. Sitting back a little further than uh, normal. This radio is a testament to doing your research before buying. As, as I've mentioned, Philco's are my uh, favorite radio line. A while back, I was looking through the spreadsheet I keep on my collection, and I realized I didn't have a single Philco from any later than uh, the 40s. Now, my, my favorite radios of all types are, are ones from the pre-war era, so, you know, the majority of my collection is from that time, and some from the late 40s. For a while, I didn't collect anything later than 49. But, you know, there's some pretty nice radios from the 50s. And I gave in on that. And I have some from them and even a few from later than that. Anyway, I decided I'd buy a Philco from the 50s. I looked locally and I couldn't find one in decent condition. So I looked online on eBay and I found this one. It's a model 53954, of course from 1953. I liked its look, so I liked this cross hatching, this metal cross hatch stuff. And I looked at the schematic, it looked like an easy model to work on. It's a a A6 has an RF stage. Price was cheap enough, so I bid on it and I got it. Well, what I should have looked at and researching it was the size. <laughs> this is one big tabletop radio for what is, you know, essentially only a, a broadcast band radio. I say essentially because it, it does have uh, what Philco then called the special services ban, you know, more commonly known as the police ban, no longer used. So this radio is going to take up a whole shelf by itself and I probably would have passed that I realized that. Still, it turned out to be a nice sounding radio. So no regrets. Um, these came in, in mahogany, this one, and uh, a blonde one. As I said, it's a six tube. It's a super het with an RF stage. It's got a seven inch speaker in there. Let's see. Along the bottom, let's see if I turn the light on if you can see it better. You have the special services band with all the uh, various icons represented, the uh, police, fire, uh, you know, it looks like a ship, airlines, all that stuff. I like this nice metal grill work. Let me turn it around here. There's the switch, the switch between broadcast and special services, SS. The loop antenna is in the back. Let me see if I can take the one screw I left in out and show you the chassis. So nice size speaker for that little All-American 6 chassis. Cleaned up nice. If I can just start the screw and I'll turn it back around and we'll give it a listen.
Well, there's a size comparison. Uh, well, that airline is not a small radio. All right. turn this thing up. Let's see what it'll do. Ah. The speaker starts rattling. It's time to stop. So there you have it, a rather large tabletop from 1953, the Philco 53954, <laughs> soon to occupy a whole shelf. Hope you enjoyed it, and more radios on the way.